Today we're going to learn how to print on our plotter using a program called VersaWorks. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the sticker that we designed in our software program and with this little pink line which is called a cut contour and we're going to take that and we're going to print and cut it on our plotter. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to find VersaWorks uh, shortcut on our desktop and we're going to click it and we're going to wait until it opens. It's going to look like this once you open up the program. The important part here that we need is QA and QB. What we need to do is we need to put our file somewhere in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our gateway folder wherever we saved our PDF. This is it right here, gateway sticker with border. We're going to click and hold and just left mouse and we're just going to drag it over here. So once it comes over, it's going to show up like this. Now we want to click down here where this gear icon is. So this is going to open up our media settings and uh, what you'll see is we'll see our logo and it looks like there's something happening in it. I'm going to click the little zoom button there so we can uh, zoom in on our design and be able to take a look at it. And what we'll see is we'll see these little red marching ants. So those red marching ants, we actually assigned a path called cut contour when in our graphics program and that's why the machine knows that those little red marching ants are going to cut around our design. Now let's check out the tabs and the different things that happen here. So the first tab is going to allow you to figure out how wide your media is. So once you load your media, click on Get Media Width. That's just going to tell us how wide the media is that we loaded onto our plotter. Next, we're going to go to Scaling, and this is where we can make our sticker bigger or smaller. Always encourage you to make your design smaller because if you make it bigger, it does lose quality and it gets a little bit pixelated depending on how big you make it. The next part here is print properties. How many copies of this sticker do you want? So the more that you click on it, the more copies you'll get. So it's always a good habit because you can end up using the material width all the way across. So always use, you know, make four or five different designs just in case you mess up one. So that's a good habit. Otherwise you're gonna waste that material that's there anyways. So there you go, you have five materials. And a good habit to get into too is quickly center the media up in position just so that the left and the right side are equal and so your design's in the middle. Well, the next item is the quality settings. So once we click up here, the very first thing is media type. We have to make sure that we are selecting the right media type. So if you're making t-shirts, you would probably end up using heat transfer material. Or if you're making some heavy, you know, plastic banners, you would use the PVC and so forth. All right, since we have, and notice that every time you change it, the print quality options change. So with generic vinyl, you get three. It also tells you the quality and also the time that it takes. Those other draft settings are good if you're doing like a, a little bit of a test copy. It'll help you like save some ink, which is kind of nice. The next setting is the important one, the cutting options when you have a design with the red marching ants to cut around it. So the important thing is once you're there and you've chosen print and cut, you're going to click on cutting condition settings. So what we found is as far as the, the force that's needed, we found that if you put in, type in about 180 with the new blade that we changed over. So that'll be enough pressure for it to cut around the design and then that way you can just weed it and peel out the stuff that you don't need for your sticker. So now that you're happy with your settings, you're just going to hit the OK button. So now this takes us back to our main window. So now that we want to print, we're going to hit the little print icon down here on the bottom. And what that's going to allow us to do is how many copies of this do we want? So if we do two copies, it'll print those five stickers out a second time. It'll print them, it'll cut them, and then it'll do the second batch of five print and then cut. So as you change and you want more copies, that's the way to do it. And so you can add them. And then after that, all you do is just hit the print button and you are good to go.